It's Space Week here at Spratronics Learning Lab, and our goal for today is to build a mini model of the solar system. Maybe have a sun in the middle, and then an Earth and a moon rotating around it. I know for this build, I need two motors that are going to be uniquely positioned to spin around each other. And so I need to start off by creating a base for my build. And I want to put a foundation right in the middle of this block. It looks about like the middle. And then on top of this foundation and this base, I'm going to attach one of my motors. So I'm going to use these two white peg pieces that attach the motor really, really well. And the next thing I'm going to do is put my motor face down directly on top of these. That way, whenever my motor spins, rather than the base spinning, the motor will spin around on top. One of the challenges with this is cords could get tangled up pretty bad. And so we're gonna have to come up with a cool way to get around that. And what I think we'll do is attach our hub, which is the brain of our robot and allows it to talk to the computer, attach our hub directly to the motor. And so we'll do that by turning this this way. And then I want my ports coming out here and we'll just attach it right there like that so that as this spins, the cord will spin with it. And that should keep our, keep our cords from getting too tangled up. I'm gonna plug this into port B. Then I want to attach really another motor on the opposite side of this. So I'm gonna put some Technic pegs into the side of motor one. And now I'm gonna need to build an arm so that we can get some good rotations going. And this build is gonna take a lot of Technic connector pieces because we are going to want to secure everything together so that it holds up as it spins. more Technic connector pieces into the side. And we'll put another one of these purple plates on the edge. I don't really know what these are technically called. I call them plates. And some more Technic connectors on the side. And I attached that wrong. I want to turn it so that these two holes are on top of each other which will help it to attach to my next motor. All right, so we've got a solid little piece right there that should be able to hold on to the motor as it spins. Give it a test, everything seems pretty secure. That part right there is held on in two places, so I'm happy with that. All right, now for our next motor. And we're gonna figure out how to attach this motor right on top of the other. We need to go ahead and have an axis, an axle right in the middle of it, something to spin. And we're going to attach that right here. The cord is gonna go over top and plug into port A. This build's really important to have cable management because these will drag the ground and slow things down. But right now that seems to be doing well. Where all the cables stay together as it spins. All right, so my sun is gonna be in the middle. So I'll probably attach my sun right here. Then that'll allow the earth to go around the sun. Earth will attach here and then around that earth, I want to have a moon. And so I need to build an arm that'll go out and rotate around. There we go. This will attach right on top of the second motor 
so that this can spin. I'll have to watch out for my sun right here because it looks like that arm could hit it. We may make that taller. The last thing we'll do is we'll put something that'll allow Earth and the moon to spin around each other as it goes around. Before we attach any planets, I think we should test and see if this works. So I'm going to connect my hub by pressing the button, pair it, and what I want to see is that this part kind of stays still and that this part spins over it, and then we'll build some planets to attach to make our model. Okay, see it's spinning, I think that'll work. Now to build our planets to attach to this, mod, this motorized base. All right, before we attach our sun and our planets to this model, I need to go ahead and build them. And so for a sun, I'm gonna make something fairly basic, which is just a sun. I'm gonna use these round, rounded plates to make a nice sun sign. And then I'll put this orange piece right in the middle to give it a little bit more going on and I think the way that I'm gonna attach it I'm going to just wedge it in between some Lego pegs like that which I know you're not supposed to do but it works and so I'll attach this somehow right in the middle as my Sun but I see that when I attach that my earth is gonna crash into the Sun which would be a catastrophe so I need to raise this side and so what I think I'm going to do is take out this yellow three-piece and just extend it out with a much longer piece from the Spike Essential Kit. And I put that in there, and I think that'll make it go right over the top. So I'll go ahead and connect my sun using this white piece, and I'll put it right through the middle, all the way through, and I'll attach it right here so it stays on our middle motor which is the center of our solar system. And then, will this go around? Not quite, might need to get just a little bit taller, but we'll see, we'll see what works. Next, I need to make an Earth. And so, we know that we have the polar ice caps at the top of the Earth, and Earth is mostly water, so we'll use a lot of blue pieces for this build. And there's a couple bits of land. Earth is pretty unique in that it is a green and blue planet so we'll use some green pieces but more blue since it's mostly water now i'd love to have a nice big piece of land over here and then some more water right down here for our earth let's see as we go <clears throat> maybe a little bit more land down here and more water We'll attach it with some water at the bottom and then another polar ice cap at the bottom which will allow us to stick our earth directly onto this bar and finally for a moon the moon is tiny so we'll use this little egg piece from the kit and what should happen we will use this piece to connect it We've got our moon, our earth, and they should rotate around the sun. Let's see if it works. And our moon crashed into the sun, so we're going to need to make some... Let's reattach our sun. We're going to make this earth go up a little bit further. or turn our sun this way, and now everything should go over just fine. And there we go. Earth rotating around the sun, the moon rotating around the earth. So we have our heliocentric model of the solar system. Sun directly in the middle, not moving anywhere. Earth rotating around the sun and a moon rotating around the Earth. 
Love to see how you could build a solar system or different parts of it. Maybe put Jupiter out here and multiple moons rotating around it. Show me what you can build.